Good morning, good morning. I'm here for the I'm here for the morning prayer, but first I have to give honor to God for all he's done uh, in my life. And I just want to make a confession. Um, the surgery that was done, uh, I had cancer. And uh, cancer runs in my family. It's been an ongoing thing for generations and generations. Um, I couldn't believe when it first happened when um, I got the um, diagnosis that I had it because I thought God would spare me uh, for whatever reason. I couldn't believe it and I tossed and turned and I just kept thinking about me with cancer, I'm supposed to be the healthy one. But in my mind, I've always believed that God heals who he will. So I made up my mind, I guess, for whatever reason, God decided not to heal me, not to take it away. But I would have to have this procedure in order to get rid of this cancer. But God is good. He's helped me through the procedure. When I first went under, my thinking was, man, I may not even wake back up. But again, God is good. And I'm blessed to be here today. But still, it's a day to day thing. Um, and I start my day up, off with a prayer, and I pray continually. Let's go to prayer. Father God, thank you. Once again, for this day, oh God, thank you, oh God, for the leaders that you put before us, oh God, put over us, Pastor Dapanier, Bishop McCullough, and the rest of um, the leadership in this church. Oh God, as we go into this morning of uh, service, I pray that it as all the uh, services, there's one that devotes his life to you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to make it to this point. God, you said in your word, you'll never leave us nor forsake us, O oh God. This is your promise to us, O oh God, and we stand on this promise. May the days before us, oh God, you continue to be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everybody, God has just been so good to you. Our Father is so good to us. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think your life and I've heard the tender whispers of love and the dead of a night as you tell me that you're pleased and that I am never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. That's who I am I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like And I've heard the tender whispers of love in the dead of night As you tell me that you're pleased and that I am never alone a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm a love by. 
by you It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am, it's who I am. You're a good, good father It's who you are 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 And I'm in love by you A thousand stories of what they think you're like And I've heard the tender whispers of love In the dead of night as you tell me That you're pleased and that I am never alone You're a good, good father it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm a love by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm a love by you. It's who 
this morning? I know that's right. <laughs> I'm a God chaser, God chaser. Because I love you, I'll chase you forever. I'm a God chaser, God chaser. Because I love you, I'll chase you forever. Sing it. I'm a God chaser. I love you. 
a God chaser. One more time, I'm a God chaser. Say I'm, I'm, I'm a God chaser. God chaser. Come on, say, say, come on. Because I love you, I love you. I'll chase you. Forever. Come on, how many of you really mean it? Come on and say I'm a God chaser. Come on. My heart is desperate for you. Come on, say I'm hungry. My hunger extends my reach. I taste you in the morning. Ah, oh, come on I now, David. Sir, early the in the morning time. when you hear my voice. Come on, that's it. Come my on. My heart is desperate for you. Come on and say. My hunger extends my reach. I'm a God chaser. Come on, he's the king of kings and the lord of lords. Come on, how many are you chasing after him this morning? Come on, are you really pursuing him this morning? Ah, uh, he said if you seek him, you will find him. Hallelujah. Woo! Come on, tell your neighbor, say, I'm a God chaser. Come on, tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him like you mean it, say, I'm a God chaser. Hallelujah. Come on, go around the room. Come on, hug your neighbor. Hug your neighbor. Hug your neighbor. Come on, that's it. Come on, y'all, get that, get that ringing off, please. Come on. That's right. Come on, hug your neighbor. Come on, get out your seat. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Amen, amen, amen. That's right, that's right. Amen. The Lord is so good and he's worthy to be praised. That's right, that's right, that's right. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen. We thank the Lord. He is so good this morning. Amen. Come on and give the Lord another hand clap before you take your seat. Some of y'all don't take your seats already. My God, my God, the Lord is so good. Amen. And he's worthy of the praise. Amen. Thank your voices. Amen. Y'all sound so beautiful. Amen. Careful, careful. Amen. Careful. Amen. Amen. The Lord is so good. Amen. We give him the glory and we give him the praise and the honor. Amen. That's due to his name. Amen. How many are glad to be alive this morning? Amen. Can y'all believe it, y'all? This is the last day for 2023. Amen. I told the leaders I'm still stuck on the year 2000. Y'all remember 2YK? Y'all remember that? Some of y'all weren't even born. Come on, talk to me. Come on and talk to me. Oh, my God. Where, uh, where is the time going? Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Uh, uh, um, uh, time is full of, full of swift changes and not on earth can stand something something build your hope on things eternal hold on to what god's unchanging hand y'all young people don't know nothing about that amen hold on to god's unchanging hand amen time is full of swift changes come on i got a little ringing in my mic if you can just bring me down just a little bit not too much amen to get that ringing out of there Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you that's here on this morning. Y'all look so beautiful. Amen. Amen. You come to church. Amen. Amen. Just one more time before the year is out to give your creator and your maker honor and praise. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing to me here. Y'all ain't coming to see Pastor T. Amen. But y'all came to worship the King of Kings 
and the Lord is Lord's, the great I am. I love to say that I am. Oh, yeah, the God of Moses, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel. We thank God, amen, for being our God. I always tell God, I serve the God of Moses. Sometimes I remind him of that, amen, that I serve the same God. We welcome our streamers on this morning. Come on, Rim Knights, let's give our streamers a hand clap. Amen. Welcome, welcome to the Remnant Church. Amen. I'm Pastor T, amen, here in sunny South Florida. Well, it's not too sunny today. Amen. It's a little nippy. Everybody like cold, got their boots on, y'all. It's probably like 65. 68 y'all and we freezing we freezing for those of you who are up north we don't know nothing about the snow or nothing like that down here amen so we got our little coats on little long johns on and things of that nature amen so we thank god for you amen to come and sup with us on this last day of 2023 Woo! y'all better give god a hand clap he brought you through um he brought you through a thousand didn't make it but you're one of the ones who did Amen. With the devil meant for evil, God has turned to his good. Amen. And we're going to forget about those things which I'm forgetting about 2023. And I'm pressing towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. Amen. Amen. I just give God thanks and give him honor. Amen. For each and every one of you. Sister Ina, you're looking good. You got your little new hairdo. Amen. I'm Pastor T, I'm put you on the spot, huh? You're looking younger and younger every time you come into church. How'd that happen? How that happen? My God, thank God for you. Amen, amen. Well, are we ready for the announcements? Are we ready for the announcements? All right, all right, all right. Lights, cameras, and actions. Let us govern ourselves accordingly. Thanks for worshiping with us today. We'd appreciate it if you take this moment to turn your cell phone off. If we hear your phone receive a text message, you may be forced to stand and read it out loud to the congregation. If your phone rings during the service, you'll be giving the pastor a break as you preach next week. If you answer that phone call, we'll happily give your shiny new device a swift baptism. If your phone resurrects from this conversion experience, we'll rename your phone the I Lazarus, but give it a double dunk for good measure. Again, we're so thankful you came today. Come next week to hear our guidelines on crying babies. So last year didn't turn out as you hoped. Things took a turn, a bump, a darkened sky. And at times it may have seemed there was no hope.
But here's the good news. Our God is the God of fresh starts. Our God is the God of new beginnings. Our God brings new mercies, new compassions, not just once a year, not just when things are bad, but every single morning. This year has been tough. And for many of us, things will never be the same. But we are here, breathing, maybe smiling, or crying, or shouting, or laughing. But we are here, feeling, maybe fighting, or cheering, or seeking, or grieving, but we are here living and we are not alone our God is here our God is with us and our God is the God of new creations amen amen well welcome to our, uh, well, I was going to say our last service of 2023, but uh, that would be wrong because uh, we have a service later on tonight at 10, 30, 10 p.m. So uh, happy new year. If you have two opportunities to worship your way into 2024, thank you for joining us this morning, everyone here and everyone uh, streaming with us. Uh, also enjoy, oh, so the uh, service is going to be at 10 p.m. Also enjoy a breakfast feast with Remnant family immediately after service. Uh, also, we have guest comedian Fifi. She'll be joining us for a time of fun and laughter. That would be uh, the, our entertainment for the uh, night as we uh, bring in the 2024. It's uh, crazy that we're already here 2024. Another year has gone by super fast. And I have a feeling we'll be doing the same thing next year, saying how fast 2024 went by. So... Time is just moving and ticking, and, you know, we all getting older, I guess. Uh, contribution report. <laughs> 2023 contribution reports will be mailed in January. If you have moved this year, please update your new address with Minister Vener uh, Valerie Good. Uh, where is she? Right here? She's right here. So if you've uh, had an address change, just make sure to get in contact with her so we can uh, mail the contribution report to the correct address. Ordination and Consecration Service. Uh, join Pastor Teresa and Bishop Jacqueline E. McCullum uh, Sunday, February 11, 2024 at 11 a.m. for Remnants Ordination Consecration Service. Invite family and friends and witness a sacred impartation and, and elevation of our elected deacons and ministers. If for some reason you cannot remember the date, it is Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm sure you won't forget that day for all our sports fans. You won't forget that day. Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, 2024. That's at the 11.30 a.m. service. Youth Conference 2024. Uh, mark your calendars. Youth from around the country will be converging in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas, from June 3rd through the 7th, year 2024, for our second, two, this is our second one, second and second youth conference. We started planning, so please let Minister Valerie Good know if you're traveling to Texas, you don't want to miss this event. When we started doing the uh, the the slides and the the for it, it 2024, I was like, ah, it seems far, but uh, this is in seven months. So um, if you yeah, time tighten up if you're going, uh, and let <laughs> Minister Valerie Good know. I, yeah, get your coins right. I don't know if we've even received anything yet, but let, let's make sure we 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 get we get it together. Uh, lastly, uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, remember to check out our YouTube channel for the latest happenings at Remnant Church. You can catch up on Bible studies or worship services you may have missed, or you can enjoy them again by logging on to Remnant Church Fort Lauderdale. 
don't forget to like subscribe and share amen and the scripture of the week is going to be coming from the book of isaiah chapter 43 uh verses 18 through 19 remember ye not the former things neither consider of the old behold i would do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert amen thank you for uh giving me the opportunity to read the announcements amen come on give the lord some praise in this place amen 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 get your coins together amen y'all should have already saved up what we in july august september october november y'all should have already saved up 500 dollars it was $100 a month. Remember that? Wasn't it 100 a month? And all, all, I can, all I can see right now, God has given me a vision. All I see is 0. 0.00. Because <laughs> some of y'all thought, as, as Minister uh, Raphael said, that, oh, that's a long time away. I get my money. Uh-huh. Y'all see the time has, has just, just crept on us. Amen. So y'all get ready. I'm, uh, I'm expecting a, a, a very, very good time in the Lord with Pastor Hamilton. Amen. All the way from Tex Arcanas. I had never heard of that until I met her. It's on the border of uh, uh, Kansas City and Texas. They're right on the border. Amen. 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 So we're going to, I'm just excited. She's getting, getting ready and I'm just, I'm just excited for that. Amen. But we want more youth on the bus than old people. Come on, Pastor Toulon, come in and join me. We want, we want more youth on the bus than old people. Come on, y'all, y'all agree with me? Amen. 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 The youth are going to sit in the back and have a good time and the old people like me, we're going to sit in the front. Amen. 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 Well, today, before I receive the offering, I got a special announcement to make. Amen. Why y'all looking at me? People look at me. Pastor T, you getting married? Don't worry about me. Y'all. Don't even worry about me. Don't worry about me. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to announce, amen, the engagement. Amen. Of Dallas and Caitlin. Come on, y'all. Stand up. Amen. They got engaged. They got engaged, y'all. They got engaged. Keep that up for me, y'all. Keep it up. Keep it up. Amen. Don't they look beautiful, y'all? Amen. 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 So it is official, y'all. I know y'all y'all been whispering around the church. Psst, 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 pastor, I hear somebody get married. Who is it, Pastor? Who is it? Hallelujah. Hall so now y'all know, y'all. It is official. It is official. Amen. That's right. Get, get, get Minister Dallas on. He's cheesing, y'all. Y'all see he's cheesing? He's showing all 32s. Amen. 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 That's right. Come on, y'all ladies. Be happy for her. Amen. Amen. Who got next? Who got next? Who got next? Who got next? That's right. That's right. The older people can raise their hand, too. Come on. That's right. That's right. Amen. The old people need love, too. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me up in this place. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Don't they look so good? Keep keep that right there. Keep that right there for a little bit. Amen. It is official. Amen. 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 They will be wedding in, in February. Amen. They will be wedding in February. They ain't wasting no time. They ain't got time for all that. Amen. Amen. They ready to, they're ready to get, get busy, y'all, if you know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 See when you see when you wait, uh huh. You get you get a little anxious. Let's do this, girl. I'm about to. What Paul said is better to marry than. Uh, all right, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. It is so beautiful. Amen, Amen. This is going to be one of many, one of many. Amen, Amen. We're decreeing and declaring. Amen. This will be a house. Amen. People will come and find their husbands and their wives. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me up in here. Amen. We come and worship. Amen. But we come to find love. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me up in this place. Woo! I invited a young man. I I, I said, you looking for a wife? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I, I want a wife, you know. He, he said, listen, I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I said, well, come to Remnant Church. We got a lot of single women up in there. Come on. They ready. They ready. They being groomed. Amen. Pastor T is grooming these young women to be godly women, to be praying women. Y'all ain't saying nothing to be chaste women. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me this morning. Woo! 
Woo! We get married in this church, and I've been to college, but we get married in this church. A man and a woman. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we thank God. Amen, amen. How many of you know that God instituted marriage? Amen. Not man. Not man. Amen. God has said how the family should be. Y'all ain't going to help me this morning, huh? One man and one woman. Not a man and two women. Come on, y'all got too, too many people in your bedroom. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. One man and one woman. Good God Almighty. Not a man and a man and not a woman and a woman, but a man and a woman. Come on, talk to me. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Pastor T didn't do it. God did it years ago. Amen. He brought he brought Adam. He brought Eve to Adam. Amen. And how many how many, how many women did, did he bring to Adam? Y'all ain't going to help me. See, I'm getting ready to start preaching. I'm going to leave that one alone. This is Men's Sunday. I'm all in the men's stuff. Amen. Amen. But we thank God. Amen. I'm so excited um, for this lovely couple. Amen. For our minister of music. Amen. Amen. He said he, the, the Bible says that a man that finds, y'all ain't going to help me here now. Oh, whosoever find a wife finds a good thing. Y'all ladies better know that y'all a good thing. See, don't give your good thing away. Uh-uh, honey, I'm keeping my good thing. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Y'all know what I'm saying up in this place. Yeah. You ain't getting my good thing until you put a ring on it. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. Put a ring on it. Look at all the ladies, y'all. Wait, why the men ain't jumping up? Why the men ain't going, hey, hey. That's right, Andre. Come on, that's right, Andre. Come on, Deacon Charles, you got my back. Come on, Pastor Toulon, you got my back. Woo! Amen, amen. You come in this church, you look for a wife. Don't look for somebody to lay up with because you ain't laying up in here. Amen. Because I find out I'm coming, I'm going to kick the door down. Y'all seen the color purple when that lady kicked that door down? I'm going to kick the door down. I'm going to come all up in there. Pastor T, why you all not? I'm in your business. Get out the bedroom. Amen. 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 So we just thank God. I'm so excited again. Amen for this young couple. Amen. And can I say this? Y'all stay out their business. Come on, talk to me. Stay out their business. If I see some whispering around the church, I'm going to jump on you. I'm going to bust you and I'm going to put you in a chokehold. Y'all ever seen a pastor put somebody in a chokehold with a dress on? I'm going to put you in a chokehold. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Stay out their business. Woo! Well, girl, I wouldn't do that. But you ain't her. You ain't her. You ain't her. He ain't chose you. He chose her. Woo! Stay out their business. Business. <laughs> Well, girl, I don't think you should get that color. I don't, no, no. That's, her, that's her dress you want to wear. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Ooh, Jesus. That's, that's the message right there, y'all. Hallelujah. So we thank God once again. Amen, amen, amen. Just join in with them and celebrate. Amen, amen. Go get a gift for them. Amen. Amen. Don't be asking them questions. Oh, when and child, did you, did you do? No, 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 no. That's all right. They're doing the right thing. Amen. They're doing the right thing. Amen. Amen. Again, so we thank them, y'all. This is the first of many. Amen. Again, we're decreeing and declaring in this house. Amen. Amen. So we thank God. We thank God once again. Amen. Oh, Sister Caitlin, look beautiful, y'all. Amen. Amen. She says, I is married now. <laughs> God have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God for them. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. This encourages, amen, all of those, amen, that are um, um, anticipating marriage. Amen. Is it, marriage is a beautiful thing. Can I just tell y'all? But you got to be married to the right person. That's key right there, y'all. <laughs> you got to be married to the right person. Amen. Amen. I encourage all you young men that are not married. I know that this generation, um, I don't know what's going on, but a lot of young people not getting married. I don't know what's going on. We're making babies, but we ain't getting married. Come on, talk to me now. Uh, we got to get married. We got to get married around here. Amen. 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 How many of you know that's blessings? The Bible says that 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 uh, 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 when a man finds a wife, that he obtains favor from the Lord. Woo! You're going to get favor from God. That's what's up. That's what's up. Amen. All right, y'all, because I'll go on with this all day. I'll go on with this all day. I absolutely love this. Amen. What the Lord here is doing in this house. Well, let's get ready to receive our offering on this morning. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap in this place. Y'all ain't clapping enough. Y'all was clapping when I gave the engagement. Y'all, whoa, whoa, pass up next. Ooh. 
Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 So those of you, amen, who wants to, oh, can I say this before we begin? Yeah, a little lower for me, uh, um, Minister Dallas. Amen. I have, um, I'm going to ask, this is the first time I'm going to ever do this in my eight years of pastoring. Amen. Um, my mind, a little lower for me. My mind reflected on um, Moses, um, just a little lower for me, Minister Dallas. Um, my mind reflected on um, on Moses when he um, um, he was building, turn it down just for me a little bit, I'm so sorry. When he was um uh, building the tabernacle. And the Bible said that, that God told him to go tell the people everything that he needed. Because what Moses needed to build the tabernacle was in the people. Y'all talking to me? Come on. It was in the people. It was in the people. And the Bible says that the people began to give. Everybody was on one accord, and they began to give. He didn't, he didn't go somewhere else to go get the funds, but he went to the people. And the Bible says that the people gave so much that there was an overage. There was an overflow. There was an abundance that he had to tell the people to stop giving. Stop giving because it's too much. And I'm here today to ask y'all. I want to ask every, 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 every member here. Amen. Everybody that's gainfully employed. Amen. If you could, aside from your tithe and your offering. Now, don't mix this in with your tithe and offering. Amen. To give $100. I already got mine. I'm going to give two this morning. I'm going to give two this morning, so I'm going to make this announcement today as well as tonight, as well as tonight. So if you can give uh, uh, an extra $100, if I can get everybody to do that today, we're done. We're done. We're done with this. We're done with this. If you can give an extra $100 and write a little note on the side and um, just say um, first fruit, first fruit on it. Are y'all with me today? Y'all with me today? So don't, so don't say to me, because I've done this in church. Listen, pass them. I'm give you hundred dollars. You do whatever you want to do with them hundred dollars. My tithes is in there, my offerings in there. No, don't mix it in, y'all. Keep it separate. Come on, I've been there, y'all, y'all, y'all know I've been there. Yeah, 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 yes. So if you could just keep that separate, so we can keep a keep a track of that. There is a need. There is a need. So if you can just join me in on today, I would appreciate it. Come on, y'all, y'all with me? Amen. Amen. Okay, those of you who need an offering envelope, raise your hand. Deacon Charles and Deacon John will serve you. The Ellison brothers, the Ellison brothers. Amen. And those of you who want to give online, you can give via Cash App, via Zelle, via Givefly, Givelify. Amen. And those of you that are streaming as well, amen, you can participate in this giving as well. And if those of you who want to give via credit card, a debit card, EBT, you can see Minister Valerie and she will help you out. Amen. Amen. We thank God for y'all giving. Y'all giving this ministry. Come on, give yourselves a hand clap. Come on, y'all ain't clapping. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Amen. You give in this ministry, and I thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving. Amen. We're going to start the new year off right. Amen. We talked about, we talked about being 100% tithers in this church. Amen. Not allowing 10 people to carry the church, but everybody, we got to be on one accord. Amen. Amen. We all got to be on one accord. Amen. And the tithers for this week, tithers, if you can come to my left, all the tithers, let me just go ahead and just pronounce a blessing upon you. All the tithers. Amen. You could go this way. That's right. Come to my left. I believe you're right. All the tithers. That's right. All the tithers come to my left. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. 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 God is blessing. God is blessing in this house. Amen. Amen. He is shown of blessing us. And we give him thanks. We give him thanks. All the tithers this week. We thank you, Father. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you today. God, I thank you for every tither that's being represented here, Father. Everyone, Father, that have thought it not robbery, Father, to give you what's first, Father. I thank you, God. Father, today, God, I pray, God, a special blessing upon them, Father. Father, I pray, God, that you will bless their coming in and going out, God. That you will rebuke the devourer for their shape, Father. Oh, God, open up the windows of heaven, Father, and pour them out a blessing, Father. I thank you, God, for what you're doing in their life, Father. And, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I decree and declare, God, bonuses that will come, Father. Oh, God, like I got one the other day, Father. I thank you, God. I decree and de declare raises, God, even in this house, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God, for pouring out your blessing. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Everybody said amen. 
Amen. Come on, y'all may give. Y'all may give. Come on, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Don't forget to write down your prayer request. Amen. On the on the flap of the envelope. Don't forget to write down your prayer requ request. And don't forget to write down um, for the hundred dollars and write down your first fruit. First fruit. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He. Come on, singers, and help me say, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. That's it. Come on, bring your offering up with a smile. Good. Say He's good. Yes, he is say, good. Oh, give thanks. Say, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. For He, for he is good. Yes, He's good. Yes, He is good. Oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Unto How many, the Lord, how many of you know the Lord is good? Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. I'm getting ready to get out of your way. Amen. Just want to acknowledge a couple of people. Amen. Samante is in the house. Thank God for you. Amen. This is Sakai's father. Amen. We thank God for you coming today. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And my dear friend Alita is in the house. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank God for each and every one of you that's here. Amen. Um, uh, and Aaliyah's mom, I'm forgetting your name. Uh, give it to me. Tasha. I was going to say start with a T. Tasha, we thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Aaliyah, we thank God for you. Amen. And Pastor Toulon. Amen. All the way from St. Martin. Amen. How many of y'all been to St. Martin before? You been to St. Martin? Yeah. How many of y'all flown? Well, you got to fly in there. You got the other way you can get there, right? We go by boat. Yeah, yeah, man, let me tell you, the first time I, I went there, listen, the plane was coming so low, like you hitting the water, and I saw the water getting closer and closer. I was like, ah, oh, God, I'm coming to see. <laughs> uh, I'm telling that water was like, you see the waves and everything. Boy, I got so scared. Let me tell you, I'm like, I'm gone. I'm out, y'all. <laughs> when the roll is called up, y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we thank God for him. Hey, Amen. I don't believe in um, Michelle. Michelle, amen. We thank God for you. Amen. You're so pretty. We thank God for you. Amen. You're from Lotta Hill. Amen. Thank God. Thank you. Have you been here before? You haven't? Oh, okay. Well, welcome. Welcome. Don't let this be your last time coming. Amen. And we thank God for Sister Kenya's mom and aunt. Love you. Love you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. How did y'all enjoy that movie? Did you enjoy it? Y'all saw The Color Purple? How many y'all like it? You didn't like it? Tasha, you didn't see it yet? Okay, how many of y'all saw it? Y'all like it? Yeah, everybody like it? Somebody say, it's all right. It's all right, Pastor T. It's all right. Amen, amen. It's all right. Yeah, I think I like the, I think I like the first one better. What y'all think? 
the old school. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Now they always trying to do something new and improve. Come on, leave it alone. Amen. They done, they done mashed it up like the Jamaicans say. You mashed it up, man. Amen. Come on, we're getting ready for our solo. Amen. From, from minister, soon to be, soon to be married. sing a real a real simple song y'all catch it if y'all can you are good hallelujah you are good that's the whole song say you you are good yeah 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 hallelujah you are good. You are good. You, you are good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good. You are good. Let me sing it one more time. You are good. Hallelujah. You are good. I'm going to do it one more time. You are good. Hallelujah. You are good. Everybody say, you are good. Pastor Teresa, giving thanks to Beth Rafa, Bishop Jack McCullough, giving thanks to Pastor Toulon, and giving thanks to all of you who are joining us today and the streamers as well. We come to you, Father, to give thanks. We come to you to let you see who we are as you know who we are, but we are changing each and every day because of you. So we thank you for your grace and mercy over us, our families, our friends. We pray that you continue to open up our hearts to receive your word. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. I will not prolong your time today. I will not be long. But I want the guys to listen up. No, women, women, some women, I'm going to say because women would include every woman. Some women lose their minds when they talk about marriage. Yeah. Completely, they just get lost in it. Like a cloud comes and just covers them. It don't make any sense. And men just sitting there looking, looking at them like, what are they? What's, what's wrong? There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem. We're going to speak today about a little faith and a little prayer. I promise you I won't be long.
if you if you like to turn your Bibles to Hebrew for chapter 16 verse. And this is a simple Bible verse. When you pray, and you pray fervently to the Lord, fervently, fourth chapter and 16th verse of Hebrews. You know the joke about Hebrews, right? I'm going to tell you anyway. The wife was like, uh, somebody asked the wife who makes the coffee in the house. She says, my husband. He's like, are you sure? Something like that. Are you sure? She said, yeah, Hebrews. <laughs> I see some of y'all haven't heard it before. <laughs> some of y'all haven't heard it before. 416 said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain favor, obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. So when you pray and you have a fervent prayer, your heart's right. You're right with the Lord. Everything. The Lord hears your prayers. He implements your prayer when he deems it necessary to implement your prayer. God hears all the things, but some things he keeps away from us until the time is right or until the time permits because of your prayer is fervent. He answers prayers. Yes, he yes. answers prayers. Yes. The Lord is the true God of Israel. Yes. Makes no mistakes. Doesn't go off the cuff. Doesn't do anything crazy and strange. But guess what? You have to believe in your heart that he is who he is. Yes. In order for this entire thing to work out for you. There's a good side to it and there's a bad side to it. The bad side to it is when you're not doing good things for the good side and for the Lord. The bad side, there's consequences to everything. Come on now. Consequences. Yes. And they must come to fruition. They must come to pass. I ain't going to tell you that joke, but I already said it before. But the consequences of life literally could be in your hands where your heart is where your mind is where your soul where your spirit and where your flesh is understand that you are not alone in this struggle but also understand that Satan is there to trip you up understand that understand that because he has a job to do just like, just like you have a job to do. He has a job to do. He's been put here for a specific thing to do. And he's doing it well so far. He's doing a good job. But when you pray, you do as it's first. You come boldly before the throne. Okay? No hesitation. Come boldly before the throne of grace. That you may obtain mercy. Mercy. I know surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Yes. But God can separate the difference from the difference. He shall obtain, you shall obtain mercy and find grace and favor and help in Christ. Don't be embarrassed to pray. We were talking about it this morning in leadership. Men have a different style of praying. We do. You know, we don't have to say much, and we don't, and we won't say much. Some women can pray until the sun goes down. There are some men that can do that, but there are just some men. Well, we gotta. <laughs> we have some marathon. We have some marathon prayers in this church. Some marathon prayers. Now. When you pray, you have to be what? You have to be faithful, right? Come on down, right. I'm going to say you have to be faithful because you don't have to be faithful, but you should be faithful. Right, right. 
that's a better word. You should be faithful when you pray because what you're praying for, you want it to happen or you want whatever it is, right? So why pray that prayer and you're not going to be faithful about it? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. My man, Samante, that's my nephew right there. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to pray and not be faithful. It doesn't make any sense to come to church and not be faithful. Amen. It doesn't make any sense to do a lot of things and not be faithful. When you get a new job and you fill out an application, you're very faithful that you're wow. going to get it. But when it comes to the Lord, how faithful are you? Wow. There's a difference, but there's also a distinct difference. And how you handle your faith and your beliefs. Understand that life is not hard. And so is, not, so is being saved. It's not hard. You just have to make up your mind and walk the walk. And talk the talk. Right? Watch what you say. Watch what you hear. Watch what you see. Watch what you do. Watch how you act. All of those things, because they all coincide with the Holy Spirit. So be faithful in believing what you're praying and give God thanks for the mercy and grace he bestowed upon your lives thus far. Hallelujah. Hebrews uh, 11. Faithful, faithful. Hebrews 11. Okay. Now, this book of Hebrews, this, this chapter, it talks about the faithful men in the Bible. Come on now. Right? There's a whole lot of them. I'm not going to say all of them, but because I'm not going to be long with you today. So, when you read this scripture and this book, you will see how faithful these men have been. And on the other hand, you also see the blessings that come after their faith. Yeah. Understand, yeah. it goes together. Wow. They coincide together. Okay? Your beliefs, your faith, your prayers, and the consequences of all that equals your blessings. Yeah. If you ask me, does it ever fail? I'm going to have to tell you no. If you're doing what you should be doing, if you're believing what you should be believing, if you're acting the way you should be acting, and if you're praying fervently, I'm going to have to say it works. I'm also going to have to say that I'm a living witness that it works. A you know, living witness. <laughs> it was one time I wasn't living so good. <laughs> But that's real. That's real. That's life. You go through something. It's like Christ has you. He's, he's, he's divine, right? He's divine. The tree of life, right? If you were a farmer and you had a field of trees or fruit or whatever, every year you should do what to that tree? You should prune it. Prune it. You should prune that tree. And you prune it because of why? This is like a class here. You, because it bear more and healthier fruit. Right? So if Christ is divine, who are we? <laughs> so when you pray... You ask God for his guidance. You ask Christ for these things because then when that tree is pruned, your fruit grow better, they grow bigger, they grow more, right? When you are in turmoil in your life, all right, this is going to hit somebody. When you are in turmoil in your life, and things just are not going the way you want them to go. You may need pruning. You may need to be pruned so that some of that excess stuff 
or people or whoever, whatever it may be, can be cut off so that you can grow a little better, right? Grow more in Christ. He'll be cultivating you for what he wants you to be as long as you live for him. That's what he'll do. That tree would be bare most of the time, if not most of the time, many a times, if it's not pruned. You will maintain stagnancy in your life if you do not grow. If you do not grow in Christ and you grow but not in Christ, you are still being stagnant. You are still being stagnant in this world of sin. You are still being stagnant. There's no place that you would like to be. If you are stagnant, there is not a place in this word that you would like to be. If you're not in Christ. I know it's a lesson to some and some may hear for the first time. But growth and growth in Christ. In the word. All of this is food for your tree to help you grow. Don't feel like it's comfortable to stay in one place. Don't feel like this person needs to stay in your life. Because it's you feel like they should. That's where your prayers come in. Let the Holy Spirit abound. Ask the Lord that the Holy Spirit abound in you so you can, you know, shake off some of these things. You know, like in the winter up north, you know, the trees get bare. Right. A lot of them. They get bare. And then a new growth starts. Right. Spring. A new growth starts. There's a lot of things that we need to shake off. There's a lot of things that need to have a regrowth in you. There's a lot. There's a lot. And you can call it rebirth. You can call it whatever you want. But it's new. Okay? And once you become a new creature in Christ, that's another whole ball game. That's another whole life. That's another whole experience. It's another experience. We can be stubborn because some of us are. I am too. You know, you know but, when, but when you grow up by yourself, your stubbornness lasts a little longer. <laughs> but if you can just give in, give your heart to Christ, if you can just give in to the ways of the word and not the ways of the world. I didn't want, I don't want, you, let me see, I don't want you to misunderstand what I said. If you can just give in to the ways of the word and not the ways of the world, your life will improve. And I promise you, I have to promise you, if you do what I just asked, I promise you, it has to improve. Whatever that may, improvement may be, you know, some of you got, some of you may be preachers, I don't know, whatever you may be. But if you give in to the word of God and you live your life accordingly, your life will improve. Again, I'm a witness to that. Again. We weren't always in church. I wasn't. Not always. Okay? There are a lot of people that have not been in church, and you've been doing things that you know you shouldn't do, but you just can't help it because Satan's power is so strong. The temptation is off the chart. It's completely off the chart. But step out of that limelight. Step into a new limelight with God. I'm just saying... Live a different life. If you think you need to live a different life, then do it. There's nothing to it except to what? Do it. That's it. Just do it. I always said Nike, Nike had the best logo in the world ever. No hesitation. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Understand that we are all going to die someday if we're not here when the rapture happens. We're going to die. We've been appointed that already. Yeah. Don't get caught with your hands in your pocket. Okay? Don't get caught with your heart on the other side of the track. Don't get caught with your mind mingled in something else other than the word of God. Don't get caught. I'm just saying. Because that will be your last moment. And if you can't confess your sin before Christ... 
I told you that story when I was in the hospital. I couldn't do nothing. Yeah. The lady said, she asked me one word, do you believe in Jesus Christ? I couldn't even speak. I'm like, she said, I shook my head. But later on, she said, I said, uh, yes. But to me, to me, had I not confessed with my lips that night, I probably wouldn't be here on this stage today. Don't let the ways of the world control your life and the way you live. It's very powerful. It's very potent. It's very aggressive. And to all of us who've been around a while, we can tell you how aggressive the world has become. Now, you may say, oh, it's always been like that. No, it's not always been like this. It's not always been like this. Okay? Satan is the principality of the air here. Here. He was put here for that reason. To tempt you, to drag you down, to, I don't know, to just whatever is bad, that's Satan for you. That's Satan for you. Understand that there's a higher power because Satan has to have permission to do certain things to the children of God. He has... He needs to have that permission. He's not in control, but he's in control. Okay? Your friends, your families, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your aunts, your grandma, grandpa, whatever, mom, dad, honor them. Because when they are gone, you will not have them to honor. Teach your children and raise them the way they should be. According to the word of God. Yes. Now, I'm getting a lot of yes, but you guys, I'm telling you this, and it's all based on experience. It's based on experience. In my life, it's based on experience. I have some experience. <laughs> but if you can avoid some of the experiences I ex experience, if you can avoid some of that, you're ahead of the game. You're ahead of the game. If you can avoid some of that, I'm not going into my experiences because y'all won't believe me. Some of you. <laughs> but the word of God is just and it's true. Okay? And it's sharper than what? Period. It's sharper than that. Okay? No mistakes allowed. Okay? You don't have to worry about this was said wrong and that was done wrong. Read your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get a Bible because I know these cell phones are going to go out one day. If you don't have a Bible, get you a hard copy Bible and read that thing. But live your life according to the way the Lord wants you to live your life. And I sound, may sound a little oxymoronic, you know, when you have, because most people, a lot of people, I didn't say most, but a lot of people who come to Christ, we've all been in some devilish stuff. And then we get slapped. Right. What was I doing? What was I thinking? Yeah. What in the world? Right. What was I doing? Yeah. That was stupid. 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 I used to live in upstate New York on Lake Ontario. There was a ravine and there was a mountain. And we climbed the mountain and there was a tree hanging over the ravine, over the river. Somebody tied a rope on the tree to swing out in the water and, let you out and in the air. Just it's like, uh -huh, like I don't know, maybe a hundred yards down, maybe a hundred yards. As kids, we are just stupid. <laughs> we like we swing out like we're and just let go like tar like and just that long fall. Ask me if I would do that today. The answer is absolutely not. It's absolutely not. And that's it. That's the wisdom. And the wisdom comes from what? The word of God. Understand this is the wisdom. You don't, if you don't, like, so, if, like Solomon, when the Lord asked him what he desired, what he want? It wasn't money. It wasn't longevity of life. It wasn't gold. It wasn't riches. He asked the Lord for wisdom. And because he asked the Lord for wisdom, God granted him all that other stuff to go with it. And that was wise in itself. That was wise in itself. All I'm saying, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm getting off now. All I'm saying is life is precious here as we know it. But once you close your eyes for the very last time, 
and you haven't lived the life that we've been telling you and speaking to you and preaching to you and teaching you to live, I don't know what to tell you then. After that, I don't know what to tell you. Because I can't tell you anything anymore. Anymore. Believe God. And understand that Christ wasn't born just to be born. He wasn't sent here to be born by a virgin lady. It can't happen. It can't happen. Understand who he is and understand who you are. Let go of the world. Let go of the world and just forget about it. Everything in this world is designed to take from you. If you don't believe me, think about it. Every single thing in this world is designed to take from you. That includes your soul. That includes your life. Because Satan, he goes to and fro. You can say it. That's right. Seeking whom what? He would. Right. That's his purpose. He's going to get as many as he can before this thing ends up. That's it. That's it. Now, I'm done. But this, Romans 8, 28, kind of covers it all. Right? Romans 8, 28. Does somebody know what it is? Huh? Not some things. All things work together for good. Now, some people stop there. But see, that's the world because they stop there. All things, they think, oh, all things work together for good. I got this job, everything working out for me. The universe is helping me. And, and right there, they forget who, they, right then and there, they forgot who made the universe. All things work together for good to those who love God and to the what? Called. Called according to his purpose. Not my purpose, not your purpose, not their purpose, but his purpose. Keep that in mind. All things work together for good to those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Now, on that note, (laughs) if there's anyone here who would like prayer and or if there's anyone here who would like to give their life to Christ today, you can step forward and we will help you accomplish that along with the Lord's help, of course. If you desire prayer for something, if you desire to be saved and you're not saved this day, step forward. But it's okay. We're not trying to embarrass you. And there could be another time. I say could because that's the right thing to say. There could be another time. Okay. All right. Okay. We don't have anyone. So, you know, I give thanks to you for listening to this little short sermon. And I want to thank everyone because it did seem like you were listening. So keep it, it keep in mind that the word of God is just and it's true. Amen. Come on. Is there anybody else? Come on. Let us stand to our feet. Is there anybody else? Come on, leaders. Come on, Pastor. Too long of y'all can come in the front. Anybody needs prayer. Don't leave this place. Amen. Without giving your heart to God. Is there anybody? That's right. Come on, leaders. Come on, leaders up here. Amen. Pastor Toulon, come and help us out. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Y'all come, come, come. That's right. Come, come, come. That's right. Anybody needs prayer on this morning? That's right. Come on and come. I surrender all. Hallelujah. Is there anybody? Is there anybody? Is there anybody? That's right. Come and give your heart to God. Come on, come on and give your heart to God. That's it, that's it. Come on up, come on up. Come on up, come on up. Come on up, up. let them come up this way. Yes, yes. Oh, come down this way, that's right. 
withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah. That's right. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? Surrender, Surrender all to you. Say everything. 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 Say I give. I give. I give to you. Come on, say withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. That's it. That's it. Come on, those that are that are out. Come on, just stretch your hands forth and begin to pray for those that have come down. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, drama. Come on, play. Come on. Everything I give, I give to you. Say withholding nothing. Say withholding nothing. That's right. Come on, y'all. Just begin to pray for them. That's right. Say I surrender. Surrender all to you. Say everything. Everything I am. That's it. To you. Come on, y'all. That's it. That's it. This is the last day. Amen of the year. Come on. We're going to start the new year off right. Forgetting those things which are behind. That's right. We're going to press, 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 press. Surrender all. Everything I give, I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, Lord, I surrender. I surrender.
give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself away. I give myself. I give myself to you. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you, God. I give myself. I give myself.
together two people gave their heart to God Felicity come on stand up and give him a wave y'all come on come on she gave her heart to God come on y'all ain't saying nothing and Samante come on stand up don't be ashamed come on turn around give the people a wave y'all should be going crazy up in this place y'all should be about to lose it y'all should be doing cartwheels and falling all over the place I just say they got saved they got saved tell them yeah Tell them yes, tell them yes, say yes, say yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes, yes. church we come to worship him and we come to give an invitation for those uh, they teach them in the world how to smoke drink cuss uh, when they come in the house of God we're gonna teach them how to receive Jesus Christ into their life come on y'all ain't saying nothing two more souls have been added to the kingdom of God that's it y'all and come on now we're gonna have to help them through this walk y'all cuz this ain't an easy walk come on now Cause y'all know as soon as they walk out that door, the devil gonna be there waiting for them. Come on, y'all gotta help me, saints of God. Come on, y'all gotta help lift them up and take them in your, under your wings and help them. Good God Almighty, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Come on, let us stand. We're getting ready to go. Y'all gonna be here tonight, right? What time? PM. Somebody say nine. You can come nine. That's all right. You come. <laughs> come on, Pastor. Too long. I need you to dismiss us. Come on. Come on. Um, 10 o'clock, y'all. Be here. Be on time, y'all. We're going to give God some praise. Yes. We're going to lose our mind in this place. I'm looking to have a good, good time. How many of y'all stand after service to help us get things together? How many of y'all stand? See, Sister Valerie? 
Amen. We gotta we're gonna decorate the place. We gotta get everything ready, get the food ready, tables together. See Minister Valerie. See Minister Valerie, all right? Amen. We like to um, our streamers, come on, we'll stay to the end. Come on, Pastor Tulum. Where your microphone? Why y'all get why you get a man a microphone now? Come on, get a pastor microphone. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Kim. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Tulum. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands all over this place. Everybody, every boy, every girl, every man and woman in this house, lift your hands. Father, we want to thank you today. We thank you, Lord God, for bringing us thus far. We thank you, Lord God, for taking us through another 365 days, my God. Another 12 months, another year. My God, it's all because of your grace and your mercies that we are here today and so father we pour our hearts out to you in gratitude and in thanksgiving and we say thank you jesus come on somebody say thank you jesus let that come from your heart say thank you jesus father even as we go to our separate homes i pray the divine protection of god upon our lives right now in the name of jesus I decree and declare that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And whatever the enemy strategizes, Lord God, to come against us, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus upon every soul here today in the name of Jesus. Lord, send forth your angels to guide and protect, Father God, and bring us back here this evening, Father God, to have a wonderful time in your presence where we can lift our voice in praise, in honor unto you, Father God, and thank you for what you have done and what you'll continue to do. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace. The Lord go before you, make every yes, crooked path straight and subdue devils under your feet. May the Lord open doors of opportunity and uncommon favor to you. This I decree and declare over your lives even right now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and all of God's people in this place say amen, amen. and amen. God bless you. Come on, you. give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Come on, hug your neighbor. Hug your neighbor. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, say, I'm going to see you tonight. Say, it's going to be on tonight. Come on, hug your neighbor. That's right. That's right.